Hi, welcome to this LAWA tutorial. For the different encoding profiles the VLink 4 is using, we can choose ourselves between limits to choose which bitrate we're going to use. It's important to know that, for example, the J2K codec with a 10 on 1 compression rate is to be considered as visually lossless. Let me show you how to do this. If we look at the GUI and we enter the menu settings, there are some buttons which are called T Extreme and R Extreme. Let's first have a look to T Extreme. Three different options. Details about the RAW format, the J2K format, and details about the J2K encoder. In the menu RAW format, we can choose whether the distribution is unicast or multicast. We can enable or disable the stream, and we can choose the format we will use, RV or 70.20.22.6. Pretty much the same for J2K, as well distribution type, enabling or disabling the transmission, and the format rate. Here we find some details about the J2K encoder. With this button, we enable or disable the encodation. And with this option, we can change the bitrate. Be careful, because the value is in bits. So 100 megabit is 100 million bits per second. In the menu R Extreme, we can set up some details how we're going to interpret the RAW and the J2K deencoder. Crossbar is very important because a deencoder can only listen to one stream at a time. So, or our deencoders are listening to J2K or they are listening to RAW. We can set it up here in this menu or we go back to video input, select one of our Deencoders, switch to the menu Stream Input and choose the other option like here. In the submenu Port, we see statistics about all our different network interfaces at the back of the VLink 4. MAC addresses you can find here. The different sessions that are open with this VLink 4 you can find in this button. It's important to use the correct encoder and deencoder settings to provide you optimal streaming results. These settings depend on your local or wide area network. Thank you for watching.